trailer. Um, we, we're always on our way to the trailer because we live an hour and a half away from it. And we run our own business, so we of course have to tend to our business and then come and work on the trailer. And, um, Eric's been here a couple times over this past week um, working on priming dad has been helping out. We'll have some video of that. His dad really likes to paint and he's been having a great time spraying all the doors and we love having the help. <laughs> Very much appreciated. Yeah. It's great. And he's really enjoying it. So that's... And it keeps my dad out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good for everybody. For Eric's mom. And <laughs> um, so we wanted to talk today a little bit about who we are, what, we, what we're doing, and why we're doing this. Um, we currently, I'm a, I am a nutritionist, and Eric is a personal trainer. Um, he has a background in all kinds of construction and maintenance and supervision of those things. Um, we own, we run a meal prep business, and we also do nutrition coaching, and we're going to be out with a cookbook in the next couple of weeks. Actually, by the time this, by the time you will be seeing this YouTube, um, the cookbook should be out. But and we, so the meal prep business has been a fun little adventure, and we're still doing that. But we are getting ready to end it because that business keeps us so that we can't go anywhere. It's almost as bad as having a restaurant. <laughs> it's, we have a weekly order system, and we have to. So our freedom is limited and we are looking forward to a life of freedom on the road. Um, and the reason we've decided to do a YouTube series is that we have so enjoyed watching other people. That's sort of what has got us started. We, I think we first started by listening to a, a podcast yeah. of um, RV Entrepreneur. And that introduced us to people who were doing YouTube, so then we started watching those. And that we've learned so much from them, and they have been such an encouragement to us that we decided, hey, let's do this and return the favor to other people starting out. And we thought it'd be a fun, fun way for us to also just to have a, a record of our adventure here. Yeah, it's kind of a scary thing to do, but when you see other people that have done it and they're enjoying and they're really telling how it is, you know, they're not sugarcoating, uh, saying there's no problems out there because there's always problems, but you know, it's really doable and uh, we're looking forward to doing it and driving when we want to drive, not in peak traffic hours. Like right now. <laughs> not uh, just you know, when you have your own business, it's pretty much 24-7. You know, dealing with customers, dealing with equipment problems, dealing with everything there is to do. So, uh, it's going to be real interesting, and I'm just trying to work on settling down into it. Because I'm always in go mode all the time, and uh, I need to take a breath and relax, because this is going to be fun. Yeah, um, yeah we've got... We've got a couple months before we actually hit the road. We've got several irons in the fire for you know how we're gonna support ourselves. And we can't go. We don't have money. We do have to still be making some money. So we've got several things going. And yep. That's, Start a few things and see what works. Yeah. Maybe they'll all work. Let's hope so. I think I read that somewhere. That they all might work. <laughs> yeah. You never know. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, so yeah, I guess a couple things we have going. I've been doing some virtual office assistant um, for a law office. And we've got an Etsy store. Like I said, we're gonna have the cookbook coming out. Um, so by the time you see this, it will be out and we'll have a link to it. However, um, the links on this. <laughs> and um, we're gonna continue our nutrition coaching business where you know, we can have a um, a phone coaching conversation if you, you know, for diet and how to improve your nutritional life and exercise and etc. And, um, is there anything else that we're doing? No, I think 
think that's about <laughs> enough for right now. Okay. And so we will have some pictures of whatever Eric's dad's been doing. Well, this, this is uh, uh, rolled on and then rolled with a dry roll. This. He said he has something for me. I saw it, oh, cool. <laughs> I saw it on, I saw it online. <gasps> oh, did you just get those? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We were, we were in Splash and when we were getting out, here was this oh. lady selling Awesome. Blankets. And those are colors I love. Uh, oh, this one has yeah. a fish. Well, I didn't know what to get. Good choice. Oh, Dad. they are beautiful. Yeah, like I think that's just what we needed. I mean, also, oh. all those colors doesn't matter what colors they are. No, we they all to look the style. same. They all look the same. Oh, that's basically. awesome. Thank you. And the nice thing about certain types of primer that you're able to sand it. So when you prime it'll expose the flaws and then you can patch it and then you can reprime those spots and then you can paint so that's always a good thing so here's a little helper with my priming i remember when we painted our lake house that is how you find spiders start painting i don't know where he's gonna go <laughs> well there it is Bunch of cabinet doors taken off and sanded, all the hardware taken off, and it's been a big job. That's just part of it, but uh, just another day in paradise at the Ontario workshop. My dad's been on a spraying craze lately, so hopefully when he gets home, I can have him uh, get all excited about spraying these doors. Anyway, uh, ready to paint these things and we'll see what they look like when we get them up. Oh, by the way, when you take cabinet doors off, make sure you mark a number on the door and on the hole that it came from, because if you don't, I guarantee you that the hole patterns won't uh, line up and you'll be playing a guessing game for hours. And also, when you're gonna do cabinets, um, sand them. Don't listen to what they tell you at the paint store. Uh, they'll tell you this thing doesn't need any sanding. It'll stick to a glossy surface. Well, you know darn well it won't. So don't even try it. Make sure you do your sanding first. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yay, pain.